an assignment that goes beyond the lesson plan and into the community. These are some of our pictures. This is us at Cowell's Beach. This is the Make a Change Project, a social studies and language arts hybrid. Sixth graders in Mrs. Medina and Mr. Stanton's classes are given this big question. How can I make a positive change in our community? They must come up with a way to serve and an organization to partner with to achieve their goals. To see sixth graders making those types of phone calls and speaking as if they were an adult um, was really impressive. One student got off the phone and just high-fived and could not believe that he had just accomplished what he had. Wednesday, the teams presented their accomplishments to an audience of parents and peers. There are 26 projects being displayed today, and they're all aimed at things like fighting hunger, fighting cancer, and preventing animal cruelty. 12-year-old Bella Primavera and her team joined forces to solve the problem of pollution. We partnered up with Save Our Shores, and we did a um, three-hour beach cleanup there at Cowell's Beach. Hunter Houston and his team didn't like the effect graffiti was having in their neighborhoods. We saw graffiti around the neighborhood um, once we got the idea of even cleaning up graffiti and we just, we saw it around influencing kids to start tagging things and it just wasn't a good influence. Um, so we thought that we should do something about it. Not only did they improve their hometowns, but they did it in what's become Monta Vista fashion, recording and editing their experiences using iMovie on their iPads and using Google Docs to keep and share information. I think the students are the best testimony as to how engaged and how much they learned. Judging by that, looks like straight A effort. When I was actually on the beach, I saw so much trash and after I picked it up, I felt so good about it and the beach looks so much cleaner. That's what you need to get a good job in your life, and uh, that's what the school's trying to emphasize on us. In Watsonville, Brittany Nielsen, KSBW Action News 8.